Well, after a nice long drive, we're finally here. <laughs> it's a sweet looking town. Yeah, it is. One that's definitely on the brink of booming. Come on, pal. This was one of the first B&Bs to open. What do you think? But it's gorgeous. Who knew a and b could be so elegant? Mm -hmm. What were you expecting? Uh, something a little more rugged, knowing your taste. <laughs> I think you'd appreciate a little luxe every now and again. <laughs> what do you think, Belle? <laughs> Should we uh, check it out? Hey, Rex. Come on, pal. Rex, where are you headed? BB's next door. Strange. What is it? Hey, Rex, come on, pal. When did you get here? About a half hour ago. Did you see or hear anything strange? No, nothing. Uh, Rex knew something was up, though. Oh, smart dog. Well, he's a police officer, actually. Rex, he's my partner. Partner? Mm-hmm. Oh, the famous Hudson and Rex. <laughs> right here in Apple Bay. Uh, you, um, we're here to help if you need any assistance. Thank you, but we don't. Outsiders done enough already. What do you mean by that? Don't take this personal, but, uh, you people come here full of ideas, think you know what's best. You don't. Eric would tell you himself if he could. Lost his pub when he couldn't pay his property taxes. Now it's a fancy brew pub where locals can't even afford a pint. That pub is second home to most of this town. Going back generations. It sounds like a, a special place. It was. You know, money moves in and honest folks are forced out. You know, those come from a ways who own the B&B are as much the killers as anyone. Do you think I could come back later and have a look at the body? There's no need for that. Maybe I'm not being clear, but Eric had enough. He took his own life. You may be right, but something looked off to me. Thank you for the effort, but this is my jurisdiction. I'll take it from here. How would you like to pay? Uh, credit, please. <laughs> See, you got it in here somewhere. There you go. Great. Thank you. Things move slower here than in the city. Let us know if you need anything. Oh, uh, thanks. Actually, um, good place to eat nearby. Ah, we got you. <laughs> we're from Toronto. Oh, me too. What brought you out east? We were sick of the city. Hard to catch your breath with all the people in Toronto, you know. Absolutely. Sometimes you need a reset, refocus. How long until you know what happened to Eric? Uh, excuse me? Well, you're cops, right? I'm just curious what happened. <laughs> I think the local authorities are handling it. Gina, so a year from now. <laughs> nice. Maybe now we can finally get our offer in on Eric's house. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude, would have clung on to it forever. I'd be for tearing the place down, building a spa. You wouldn't. Eric hasn't even been cut down yet. Anyway, oh, <clears throat> we should, uh, right up here. Come on, Rex. Of course. Thank you. You doing okay? Still thinking about the body next door? No, no, no. We're on vacation. And plus, Gina said she didn't need us. Well, you said something seemed off about the body. Yeah, but I... I can't put my finger on it. But your gut's saying it's more than just a suicide. Hmm? Maybe it's worth trying with Gina again. I don't want to push. What if you went back over on your own? Would you be more open if it's just me? Not the famous Hudson and Rex, hey? Well, I mean, you said it, not me. <laughs> what will you two do? You know, we could poke around town, get to know the place. If it's as fraught with changes as Gina said, then... Could be relevant in Eric's death. Yeah, what do you think, pal? We want to walk around, see if that handsome face will get the locals chatting with us? I think that's a yes. Okay. Come on, pal. Let's go for a little walk. Mm -hmm. 